Evening, a crucial decision tonight from Canada's Labour Board, sending thousands of employees back to work and putting a railway dispute to rest for now. Freight trains must start rolling again first thing Monday morning after a bitter contract dispute shut down the country's two major rail lines. CTV's Jeremy Sharon has more on the binding arbitration and the union's vow to appeal. After three days of uncertainty over railway service across the country, a decision tonight by Canada's Labour Board to impose unprecedented orders requested by Canada's Labour Minister. In a decision issued tonight, the Canada Industrial Relations Board concluded it does not have discretion to vary or to not implement the direction, therefore ordering employees of CN and CPKC return to work Monday, follow the terms of their previous collective agreement until a new one comes into effect and that both sides move forward with binding arbitration. We're extremely disappointed. They acted on a gutless and cowardly referral by the federal labour minister to break a strike at the first sign of some supply chain disruptions. The union representing more than 9,000 railway employees says it will adhere to the board's ruling, but it plans to appeal the decision in court. Any federally regulated worker now in part who's, who has a job in the supply chain has now lost bargaining power, has now lost uh, the ability to, to negotiate higher wages, better working conditions, and to protect what they have. The move ends a work stoppage at CPKC and voids a strike notice issued to CN, where trains had been moving again since Friday. We are satisfied that this ends the labor conflict and that we can get back to our primary focus, something we do every day, which is to power the economy. But today's decision still comes after three days without full service on Canada's railway system, which many industries rely on. We were having huge cash flow uh, problems. You know, basically any money that we thought we had coming is now stopped. In the middle of harvest season, farmers say the disruption already cost their industry tens of millions. The Labour Board says all parties have been directed to meet Thursday to start the arbitration process, but that is only the beginning, Heather. The courts will at some point have a significant decision to make as well. All right, Jeremy, thanks.